All right, fam. So today I'm here to do the mental health on booktube tag. I was tagged by the lovely Cass over at Cats and Camera. And I will leave the creators of this tag in the description down below. The first question is, why do you read books about mental health or featuring characters living with mental illness? So I do this because I also struggle with mental illness and I like seeing that representation in books. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it, honestly. I like seeing myself like reflected in a book and part of myself is my mental illness. So like seeing that in books just as much as I like seeing my sexuality or gender in books. Second question is what aspects of mental health or mental illness do you wish were discussed more in books? So I think uh, Kaz's answer was really good. Uh, she talked about how she wanted to see more of like people living with it after they've been diagnosed, like five years after they've been diagnosed. And I think that's really cool. But personally, I would love to see people like struggling with medication because like I, it seems like every time I read a mental health book, everybody's like either not on medication or they're on the medication that like works for them. And I'm like, where's the struggle y'all? I went through like five medications trying to find the ones that work for me. So I think Darius the Great is not okay, which I'm currently reading on audiobook mentions it slightly, but like I want to see like a book go like hardcore into like trying to find the right medication because it's a fucking struggle. The third question is do you read any non-YA contemporary books that talk about mental health? Um kind of I read some graphic novels that talk about uh, mental health trauma is discussed in Wolf Song so and that's an adult book so um that counts I suppose um so I, I guess the answer is yes just not a lot the fourth question is have you ever read a mental health book which had a profound impact on you I wouldn't say it's super profound but we Are the Ants did have a pretty big impact on me because I read it when I was in a not so great headspace. And when I finished the book, I was in a better headspace because of the book. So it was pretty great. Next is who are some of your favorite creators who talk openly about mental health? This is hard because I want to say authors, but like, that's not what the question's asking me. It's asking me about like, other booktubers or other book bloggers or other random youtubers and like i don't watch a lot of other booktube that talks about mental health actually so i'm gonna i'm gonna throw this out there um the sleep with me podcast that i listen to to go to sleep uh is like not a you don't it doesn't talk about the, mental health is not the subject of the podcast, but like since the coronavirus uh, pandemic started, they've been like, hey, if you need some extra help, here are some resources in the description. And I think that's really neat. So go check out the Sleep With Me podcast. Um, it's real lit. The sixth question is, have you ever read a mental health book which negatively portrayed mental health? And honestly, I don't think I have. At least I don't remember it. That's an issue with anxiety and depression medications and the illnesses themselves is they cause memory problems. So I very well could have read a book that negatively dealt with mental health. And I just don't remember reading it because apparently it didn't stick out in my brain enough to remember it. It's a very real possibility that I may have read something and just forgot about it. Number seven is what is your favorite book slash series slash genre to read when you are struggling with your mental health? So here's the thing. My depression manifests in staring at the wall and doing nothing because you have no motivation to do anything but stare at the wall. Um, and I've found a great companion to staring at the wall. Audiobooks. So I know this really isn't a book series or genre, but like, cause I, it honestly doesn't matter. I, I'll listen to any type of audiobook while I'm staring at the wall. Um, but yeah, I, I really appreciate audiobooks for that fact because it makes me feel productive 
but I don't have to do anything but lie there and listen to it. It's great. I'm so glad I found this coping mechanism. If I went to see a therapist, they would be proud. Number eight is, is there any mental health book you wish your younger self could have read? We are the ants. <laughs> like, yeah, it's a repeat, but like, this book is real good with like, depression, essentially, and like suicidal ideation, which like, I struggled with a lot and still struggle with a lot. Um, but yeah, like, I wish my younger self could have read this book and been like, oh, maybe the world is worth staying in. Maybe I should press the button. Nine is, is there a mental health book which you haven't read but want to? And yes, speaking of Sean David Hutchinson, I really want to read his memoir, Brave Face, um, which deals with his struggle with depression. Um, I really want to read it on audiobook because I feel like if I read it physically, it would just be too much for me. So I'm gonna read it on audiobook, hopefully, because he also narrates it. So I need to, I need to get it from my library. And the last question is to tag some people that talk about mental health on their channel. So I'm going to tag Aaron over at Tomes and Tunes. We're like mental illness buddies. Um, and she talks about her mental illnesses a lot on her channel. And she even has a video, I think, that's like, books to read when you're depressed. And I'm like, yeah. I'm also going to tag Kav over at X Reading Solace X, I believe, is their uh, channel name. I will leave a link to it in the description, obviously. Um, but their channel, um, they've recently talked a lot about mental health, and I like really appreciate that. And I love hearing from them because they're just a great person. That's all I got for you. Um, I'm sure there's probably other people out there, and I'm just forgetting. Um, but I'm just gonna tag those two people, because those two people I know definitely talk about mental health on their channel. The fun fact of the day today is that my copy of We Are The Ants is actually from the New York Library. I'm pretty sure it was from the New York Library anyway. Yeah, the New York Public Library. It has it on the back right here. Um, I got it at BookNet Fest, actually, and somebody apparently didn't want their library copy, and I'm like, I'm fine with library copies if it means I get to read an awesome book like this. So, yeah, this is my my library copy of We Are the Ants. I haven't even bothered trying to take the sticker off because I'm like, I don't want to ruin the dust jacket. So yeah, um, that's your fun fact for today. And I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one.